Good morning. So I wanted to share how I work with the gene keys, the archetypes at the gates, um, my chart, and how I move through what I find is coming up in my life. So um, I am transiting my Uranus opposition right now. And Uranus is my Uranus, um, as for most people um, my age, is in the gate 14, Gene Key 14, which is the shadow of comp compromise, the gift of competence, and the city of bounteousness. And this gate in human design is all about money, it's all about resources. Um, and for me, this is in my astrology chart in the second house, which is also all about resources. And it is, it's not conjunct, but it's very close to my son. Um, they are a five degrees apart. And so, so they're all in Scorpio. And then Chiron, the wounded healer, is opposing, is opposite. Um, Uranus in Gene Key 14 um, and my son and um, so I'm working the way that I'm working with this is because this is a this is often known I hear it known in human design is the money money gate it's a way of how we um, bring abundance into our life and abundance can be seen as you know money power spirituality and health right those are all the ways um, I mean relationships is one as well um, but those are a lot of the ways that the I Ching talks about how we are abundant and Money has been a lifelong lesson for me. It is part of my less, my life's lesson. And when you look at my astrology chart, seeing that Chiron is opposing this, it, it kind of makes sense. Um, and my Chiron in my human design chart is in the gate um, 23, which is my, uh, which is my conscious earth. So it's also all about communicating in right timing, sharing my perspective. Um, so how do I use the gene keys? The way that I, I sit and I contemplate as Richard Rudd um, recommends we do, and then I take it a little bit further. And right now I'm journeying with the archetype of money. So through journey work that I have been taught and I have done very innately most of my life. And recently I've been journeying with money and money has shown itself to me as a black dragon. Um, and this is how archetypes work, right? We all have our own inner cosmology. Um, and there is no right or wrong. It's just our inner cosmology. And money has shown to me as a black dragon. Um, and in my first journey with money, it was very small. It was a very small dragon. And this is why I love journeying because you can't really... I mean, I would never make this up with my logical mind, right? So... It was this small black dragon and the black dragon looked at me and it's kind of, um, it's very uh, Taurus-like in the way that it talks to me and I have a lot of, I have three Taurus men in my life so it kind of talks like them <laughs> to me. Um, and it kind of goes, come on now, am I really this big? Is this how much, how much energy I actually take up? Am I this small in your psyche? And I was like, oh. No. And he goes, he goes, well, think of how you work with emotions, right? Because I'm very familiar with emotions. Or emotions are part of the work that I do. Um, I have worked deeply and intimately with my own emotions. And he goes, make me as big as you would make your emotions that are coming up. Like, turn towards your emotions. It's something that I, that I teach, right? You need to turn towards them because if you ignore them, 
um, they just they just keep nagging at you they don't go away so I was like okay and I made dragon I let dragon get as big as money is to me in my psyche and he turned into this massive black dragon which wasn't surprising to me because money has been a thing I mean really since in utero um, there's been stories around money and fear around money so which is very ironic because now my mom is a financial planner and my youngest brother is a financial analyst so it's uh, quite perfect that this is my lesson in my life because it's not theirs or they have mastered that piece but anyhow um, it's funny how we see reflections right of others and how we all have different soul lessons in this lifetime and I'm very determined um, and I can feel the calling to really learn this lesson. Um, I've journeyed with emotions for a long time and I feel like I've learned my lessons around how to work with my emotions. So now it's like, okay, I'm working with this gene key, this gene key 14. I want to learn this, this, this lesson, this curriculum in this lifetime of around abundance. So I'm journeying with Dragon right now as it's taking me to show me different parts of understanding how money not only impacts me, but also how money impacts the collective, right? Because what I experience about money contributes to the collective consciousness around money. What you experience with money contributes to the collective consciousness and what we see playing out around money. And so when we become responsible for what we're experiencing around something that's showing up in the collective, we change the narrative of the collective. So we're, we are that powerful, right? So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna share my journey with Dragon over the next little while. Um, I'm feeling very called to be very, transparent with my own journey uh, through the gene keys, through the archetypes, um, that we're all here figuring out this, this life school, right? We're all here, um, spiritual beings incarnating into these bodies to um, experience this glorious and sometimes painful life, but we don't remember that as souls we just think this is fun and interesting right we kind of forget i don't know what we were thinking sometimes but so i've been called to to share this um my journey around this so on the first day that dragon went from being this very small being into and i let it get as big as it actually is as big as the space that it takes up in my mind and my heart and my nervous system he then said okay get on my back and I was like okay I'm gonna get on your back he's like yeah get on my back so I get on his back and I climb on and he starts taking me up and we go up and it's so cool and so much fun and we're flying and then he takes a nosedive and he starts going down. And what do I do? I bail. I jump off him. I'm like, I'm not in this anymore. And he stops. And he goes, this is the problem. This is what you do. This is what other people do is you jump off of me. You don't. And then when I go up again, you scramble to get back on. But you're not in it for the long haul. You're not in it on this journey with me, he says. I was like, what do you mean? And he goes, well, what you do with money, or not with money, sorry, what you do with your emotions, you stay with them until they shift, right? The way that I work with people with their emotions, we go into them and we explore them and then they shift. And he says, this is what needs to happen with money. When you bail off of me, you're not committed, you're not in it. He says, you know that your menstrual cycle is going to come around again. You know the moon is going to move from new to full. You know the tide is going to go in and go, going to come back out again. 
you trust that when it's winter time even though it's hard sometimes when i'm on the west coast of canada when it's gray and rainy you know it's going to become summer and spring again you know the flowers are going to bloom you know that the rain it means it's snowing on the mountains which is good for our our water right and and any forest fires you know this he says to me so you need to stay on my back you need to ride the ups and the downs and not just try and stay for the ups. And this is why I love doing the journey work around this because my prefrontal cortex, my the reasoning part of my brain would never create this um, experience for me. So it would, you know, it would reason its way, which it has done and it has a purpose, but it doesn't take me into the depths of what these archetypal energies are really trying to teach us. So part of what I'm learning with this Gene Key 14 is the shadow is compromise, right? And we, we begin compromising ourselves when we go into our school systems as children, right? Our imagination is taken out of us, our, it's taken out of us, it's conditioned out of us, right? We're, we're conditioned to be good little workers, to stand in rows and sit in rows and write tests and the imagination goes away and what I'm realizing is that I have compromised my right work in this world um, because of fear, because of this belief that I needed that I need to fit into a box, um, and I've always wanted to not be in the box, but I've been terrified to get out of the box. And I was in a Tony Robbins workshop actually in March and him or one of his speakers was saying there is no box right the box is the uh, just like in the matrix there is no spoon there is no box I've been conditioned to believe there's a box and I need to fit into this box and I have this very strong calling and Chiron being opposite this Uranus transit and this Uranus tra Uranus coming the current Uranus coming to be conjunct my Chiron very soon is really highlighting this this need to stop compromising what I do and so I'm undergoing this big shift in um, the work that I, I am here to share with the world and um, to step out and uh, out of the box that is an illusion so I'm going to start sharing um, my journey with Dragon and I'll share as I go along. I hope this, I mean it's early here as I'm recording this so I hope it's not too rambly and you're able to follow me a little bit. Um, I really appreciate you being here and I love all of your comments that you write on um, the Gene Key videos that I post. They, they really mean a lot to me and they really touch my heart. Um, so thank you so much and I will continue sharing my journey as I journey through this particular gene key um, in, in the next little while and I'll keep you posted as to how it goes and what Dragon shares with me. Have a beautiful day.